My name is Rachel Ortiz with an A-E-L, Ortiz with an O-R-T-I-Z. I'm executive director of Barrio Station, and uh, we started in 1970, and I've been with it since 1970. We're a very grassroots Chicano organization, neighborhood organization, and we believe in putting our, um, our needs into action. I'm also an organizer. I organized for four years um, in the Bay Area for the United Farm Workers and Cesar Chavez, and uh, I learned a lot there. And when I came back to San Diego, I started um, working. It's like a concerted, concerted effort to, uh, to recruit for SDSU, uh, Chicano Studies Department. There was a barrio station, and then there was a Cidro station for San Isidro. We did um, do about uh, four years of uh, scholarships and recruitment. Um, and that came after uh, the Chicano movement. Uh, part of it was the high school walkouts. From there, went into getting kids into higher education through EOP and special admissions. And so we did that, and then we started turning to the street youth that really needed a lot of help. And uh, I was really able to attract those kind of kids. I grew up here all my life, and I, uh, I was like them. I've had my, my scrapes with the juvenile justice system and the prison system, and, and so I've had my own experiences, and so I bring a lot to the table, a lot of perspective, and uh, train staff to not be afraid to work with some of the most dangerous kids. Don't be afraid to work with them because they're all humans. <laughs> they're all, they're, I mean, they're all human, and uh, they um, they just need some guidance. And so we have dedicated ourselves. We start out dedicating ourselves to um, um, guiding kids uh, away from social failure, especially drug addiction, especially gang violence, and especially a uh, school dropout. And so, in working with the kids to give them uh, alternatives to the streets, we engaged in in massive efforts to work with them. I hired lots of counselors called neighborhood youth workers. And the counseling is very, very important because they all come from poor families, needy families. But the point I'm trying to make to you, because we also have a community swimming pool. I don't know if you sat in the corner, a big community swimming pool. Um, the point I'm making is all of this is fine and well. We keep them safe during idle time after school, uh, especially people that want to um, victimize them. The gang members want to victimize them, and, and then the victim becomes another victimizer. And it's a part of recruitment to do violence to somebody. And I don't believe uh, people should kill each other. I don't believe in that. So when they leave here, they used to see all of this horrible uh, slum and blight. It was literally slum and blight. And uh, so we engaged in neighborhood revitalization just so the kids will feel better about themselves. They'll feel, they won't feel so socially isolated. They will uh, feel like somebody cares about them, our city fathers and mothers.